The red flags. Pay attention to the red flags. Hey guys, it's the girl Kiki Beauty and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, thanks so much for coming and checking out my channel. If you've been here before, thank you, thank you so much for your support. Please continue to view my videos and subscribe to my channel and press the like button. And this video was going to be pretty much me chit-chatting with you guys, telling you the top five rules of being a queen. So, I'm not going to be doing like a makeup tutorial, but I'm going to be doing my makeup at the same time while I'm chatting and, you know, just catching up with you ladies. So, if you want to hear and want to see how I achieve this look, then continue to watch. Thank you. Hey my beauties and welcome back. Today I'm going to be talking about five top rules to being a queen. And at the same time I'm going to be doing my makeup. And I'm thinking about using this palette. It's so beautiful y'all. Beautiful golden. Beautiful neutral colors. So yeah. Let's get started and let's chat, girl. Okay, so I wrote some notes down on my little notepad. And rule number one, queen rule number one, always prioritize yourself. That's right, ladies. Meaning, take yourself on dates, um, do your makeup, get um, your nails done, your feet done, get a massage if you need to. Just take care of yourself and always put yourself first and maintain yourself because, hey, you're only one person, only have one life, only have one body. Whatever makes you feel good, do it. I mean, if you need to go to the gym, whatever, just always try to take some kind of time for yourself and I know that that's hard to do especially if you're a really caring person you know you're always thinking about yeah, you're always thinking about putting other people first which I get I'm guilty of doing that but now I learn to take the time my nails done I pretty much do my own hair but um just pamper yourself I want to start going to the spa more you know, I got a dentist appointment next week. <laughs> Keep your grills together. I'm supposed to be working out later with a personal trainer one of my friends told me about. So, it's just overall, do you. Take care of you. Prioritize yourself. That's number one. Number two, take care of yourself mentally and health-wise. Like, hey, if you need to see therapists, anything whatever you need to keep your mind calm you need to do that and also physically like working out because um working out it helps with mental and it shows that you value yourself it's gonna show on the outside how much you value yourself by the way you take care of your body and then it also boosts self-esteem, all kind of other things, which is why, y'all, I struggle big time, okay? But guess what, y'all? I lost 15 pounds. It took me about a month, about a week or two, but hey, that's something. So I'm trying. I really am. And then, like I said, um, today I'm going to um, work out with a personal trainer later on. So yeah, I'm trying to get my body right and boost my self-esteem at the same time. Girl, we in this together. I promise you, we are. I'm no better than the next person. I'm learning every day, just like y'all are, taking one step at a time. And queen rule number three is if you're dating someone, never, like I said, I'm learning, guilty, never ignore the red flags y'all we want to believe that somebody is so good 
so great. This can't be true. This person can't really feel this way. This person can't really act this way. But yes, it's true. Believe it's your intuition. We all have it. And we try to ignore it because we want to see the good in everybody. We don't want to believe that those kind of people walk on this earth, but honey, they do. And I had to learn the heart. So, never ignore the red flags. Look out for people who are very dismissive with your feelings. Like if you talk to someone and you're, you know, just trying to tell them simply how you feel about a situation. Maybe y'all had, you know, a little disagreement about something. You're like, you know what? I don't like the way that you talk to me today when we're at your family house or something like that. Oh, I talk to everybody like that. You know, they just real quick, real dismissive. Oh, oh, you trying to start drama. When you simply come into them and letting them know how you feel about a situation. I mean, me personally, if I come to you with a problem and I'm telling you how I feel about something, I actually care. So if I'm not saying anything about anything, then at that point, I don't give a damn. And that's when you better watch out because I'm pretty much done at that point. But if I'm coming to you, it's not out of a nagging place, it's out of a concerned place, and I wanna fix and work on whatever that we're going through or whatever that it is. But you know, they'll take that as nagging or anything like that. They'll try to flip it because they don't wanna talk about the real problems. So baby, please, Listen to the red flags because most of the time they pretend that they're going to change. They say it with their lips, but their actions don't show. They continue to do the same thing that they said they was going to change. So guess what? We're not going on what you say with your lips because a pair of lips will tell you anything. We all know that. So we're going on actions. Show me some action and I'll believe it. So yeah. Number four, never compromise your boundaries. Someone who values you will never make you compromise your values. Like for example, say you're dating and that person is trying to sleep with you too fast and you're a woman with pride, a woman with class, a woman with dignity, so you're not gonna go for that. So you're like, you know what? It's too soon. I wanna get to know each other before I take it there. And I'm just not comfortable with going there right now. And if they feel like it's a problem, then they don't respect your boundaries and they don't respect you. So guess what? Bye-bye. If you don't respect my boundaries, then I'm not gonna compromise them to make you feel comfortable. If I'm, uh, make you feel comfortable. If I'm feeling uncomfortable about something and it's not sitting well with me, then that's just what it is. It's only me at the end of the day. So I'm not gonna compromise to make somebody else feel comfortable about me and my boundaries and my dignity and my self-respect and my pride and my body. So guess what? If they don't respect that, you don't have to dismiss them, okay? Number five, always trust your intuition. Cause like I said, we all have an intuition. When we know somebody is not right, their spirit is not right, their energy is not right. We have that intuition and so many times we wanna ignore it. Cause like I said, we wanna see the good 
and everybody. We don't want to believe nobody's bad, evil, out to get us, conniving, backstabbing. We don't want to believe that about people. So always trust your intuition. So many times we ignore the red flags because like I said, we want to see the good in people. And most of all, we're always taking on somebody else's baggage. This person could have childhood issues with their mother, dad, and oh my God. Especially when, when a man has childhood issues, mother issues, mm, baby, I would never deal with that again. You know, I always thought, you know, not everybody have a good relationship with their mom. I mean, I have a great relationship with mine, but you know, not everybody's that fortunate to have a good relationship with their mom. So I'm like, you know, it's not that fault that they grew up and their mom was, you know, on drugs or messed up in the head or did them wrong, abusive, or, you know, whatever the case may be. It's not their fault that they was treated like that. And so, you know, that, that has no play in how they treat others or how they treat the woman they claim they love or women in their life can be furthest from the truth. Men with childhood issues, mother issues, I had to learn that the hard way. If all he had was maybe his mom messed up, his grandma messed up, if all he had was that to look up as example of women, then he had no example of a real woman. So if he don't respect them because they treated him fucked up, then how do you think he's gonna treat you? And so baby, like I said, I had to learn that the hard way. So I'm sorry. Any man with mother issues, you just can't date me, simple. I, I just can't do it. Cause most of the time they real fucked up in the head, traumatized. And so they fix their relationship with their mom, their, their grandmother, their auntie, whatever woman that had a big role in their life, raising them or what have you. Anybody that they ever get with, well, relationship wise, from that day forward, that shit is gonna be sabotaged every freaking time. They will never have a successful relationship with anybody, even when it comes to business, anything. And so they fix that relationship with their mother. And so, baby, I'm not, I'm not here for it. I'm not the one that needs to reach back to your childhood and fix you for you. You're going to have to do that for you. But in the meantime, get it together and leave me where I'm at. Because I'm good where I'm at. And that's just how I feel about it. Period. <laughs> That's pretty much it, guys. I want to thank you so much for watching. And please like, please share, and subscribe to my channel. Um, I've been having my page for about a month and a week or two, I think. So, so far, I got about 41 subscribers, which is, I think it's fairly good to just have a new YouTube channel, but I definitely would like to gain more. So, I'm pretty sure that somebody can use some encouraging words, you know, how to boss up, boost your self esteem, you know. So, please share this to somebody. I know you know somebody who needs to hear this right now. So, share, keep liking, thumb downs, and the ones that's been doing it, and keep sharing. And remember, 